Are you stuck in an eyewear style rut? Have you been wearing the same conservative tortoiseshell specs for the last 10 years? Well, today on HBE TV, we're gonna show you how to add some eye-popping color to your eyewear style wardrobe. Come on, you know this is real. All you have to do is turn on the uh, morning news and see what bright, awesome color weatherman Al Roker is wearing today. The color revolution in eyewear is here. Hello and welcome to this edition of HBE TV. I'm Daniel Brunson. And I'm Derek Brunson. So what we're doing today is we wanna to talk to you guys about the color revolution that's happening in eyewear. You can see behind us here on the frame board, we have lots of color and we're specifically talking about men's frames. It's okay for you guys to embrace color. It really adds to your look gives you something, uh, gives you a statement to kind of separate your look from the rest of the crowd. So we're gonna try on some of our newest releases, newest uh, pieces that we have in the store today, just so you can get a feel for what some of these look like. And the first one we're gonna talk about is this one by Fossa Foss. And this is uh, one of their new color combos, which has this amazing light sky blue color with this marble uh, acetate down here on the front and on the temples. And we'll get a good look at it here. Um, this one, it's pretty busy, which I love because it really is an attention, like eye-popping color. And it's otherwise a pretty clean look, just an easy rectangle that's going to look good on most people's faces. Going to fit a good, you know, medium-sized face pretty well. Uh, very comfortable to wear. It's got these nice spring hinges. And uh, one of the, uh, one of Fossa Fossa's beautiful creations that's uh, handmade in Paris, like so many of their frames. Um, there's another option. We, I'm embracing jumping all in on color today, but maybe some of you are thinking, okay, maybe I just want to dip my toe in the water. So Derek, why don't you try? We have an Etnia Barcelona right here. So this is an otherwise pretty conservative color, but it has the pop of orange right along the top, right up here. And so this is sort of a way to say, hey, you know, I'm cool with the color game. Like I'll do a little bit of a splash of color. And, uh, you know, but otherwise you can stay pretty cool and pretty conservative but yet still let that color pop through a little bit. I feel cool and conservative. <laughs> nice. So if you want to like go a little bit bolder though, like let's look at this Kirk and Kirk. This is one of our new collections, newest collections we have here at Hicks Brunson Eyewear. So how does this one make you feel? I feel bold. Yeah, so this is definitely a bold shape. It's super thick. Now the special thing about Kirk and Kirk, it looks really heavy. It's a really chunky look but it's not made of the traditional acetate, it's made of acrylic, which is a fraction of the weight of acetate. So yeah, let's get a closer look at it, that's great. Um, it's a fraction of the weight of acetate, gives you the really bold look, but it actually is very comfortable to wear on the face because of how light it is. And we have several other styles from Kirk & Kirk. Let's try a few of these other ones on, Derek. You've got this amazing green. It's really lightweight too. Yep, and you know, bridge fit is everything. I love how this one, it kind of has that dip at the bridge. I mean, that's a, that's a small detail, but it's really thick right there. And it, and it creates this like bold punch of a look and it's sort of layered. It's not just one flat piece. I don't know if you can hold it up there so they can see, but it's got a thicker layer within a thinner layer and amazing design for high minus prescriptions. It's gonna hide the edge thickness so well if you have a stronger prescription. So Kirk and Kirk, because they're made of acrylic, you can see how bright the acrylic colors can be made. And Kirk and & Kirk makes all of their own colors, takes them to Pantone, and creates these amazing looks that are so unique in eyewear. Um, Fossa Foss, I'm going to jump back to them for a little bit. Um, this, is, this is a new one that I, I can't wait to get one for myself. I'm, I'm going to make this one up with a new transition style color, but I love this pop of yellow right here. It's basically... It's mostly crystal um, and it's got this like sort of grayish blue color here, but then it's got that bright pop of yellow along the front. So even though it's generally, it's a pretty thin conservative look, the yellow just gives it that extra boost so you can really find your own style statement with this color. We have this one by Kirk and Kirk. This is a great blue, very royal blue. Um, and nice, nice clean, not too big, not super thick and chunky, but like 
with that color, it really doesn't need to be. It's like moderately thick and bold, but then in that color, it's just such a bright pop that gives you that statement signature look. And again, the lightweight comfort fit of the acrylic is amazing. Um, why don't we try one of these here, the Etnia maybe? Sure. Uh, this Etnia is actually part of our spring sale we've got going on right now. Uh, normally uh, priced at uh, 349, it's actually 209 right now and has some spring hinges here, very comfortable. Adjustable nose pads, kind of a metal, you know, it's, it's not extremely heavy, it's real lightweight and comfortable, but kind of an interesting shape, definitely. Definitely an interesting shape and a, a really good deal on the spring sale. We'll put a link to purchase all of these frames in the description box, but this one, um, you know, available now uh, as part of the spring sale at 40% off, so a great deal. What is this vibe? It's given me like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a 1980s vibe with like the, it's not really an aviator, but it's got that double bar and in that red color. I don't know. It's like, I feel like if we put a sunglass lens in this, it'd feel a little bit Tron-esque maybe. A little bit, probably, yeah. Yeah. So um, something that uh, I also want to talk about, we, we've carried uh, Tom Davies eyewear back since back in 2007 when he first launched in the United States. And he's always had the ability to custom create frames to fit your face and in a color that you like. And so um, just recently, I decided I loved this color. This is like a nice like bright blue, but it's on this more traditional, what people call a horn rim or a brow line look. It was a very popular look in the 1950s. And I thought, you know what? Let me do something really uh, cool with this color. I don't want it in this thin conservative design. I want to take like a thick chunky acetate like this one with this super thick wide, uh, whatever this, you know, this is about a 12 millimeter or temple and it's real thick. I want this frame, but in this color. So uh, several weeks ago, I went ahead and put in a new design for myself, for Tom Davies, for the Tom Davies factory to make. And this is what I got. And I just got this. Uh, just a few days ago, and I'm, I'm unveiling it for the first time. I haven't even put my prescription in it yet, but pow, I really love this look. Like chunky, matte blue in the bright, the bright blue, and it's got the pins in the front, and it's got the super chunky temple. And so this one, I can't wait to put either a transition sapphire lens in it, or maybe even something with a blue mirror. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my prescription yet. Uh, Derek, I don't know. What do you What do you think I should do? Like, should I do a transitions blue, or maybe a maybe a blue mirror in the transitions? Maybe a blue mirror. Yeah, that would look awesome. A blue mirror would really give it that extra edge. It'll just depend on you know how much I'm going to wear it outside or wear it inside. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but um, for our clients that have been coming to us for a long time, I think they're well aware of the Tom Davies bespoke service. Um, but it's uh, not everybody knows about it. So basically, you can take any Tom Davies frame, have it custom made for you to fit your face with the proper length and in any color that Tom Davies makes. Uh, super cool for those that want to really customize and have something like um, no one else has this frame and this color. It's a, it's a unique one of a kind at this point. And it even has your, uh, your name laser engraved on the inside of the temple right here. Just so you know, it's a custom you know, piece made just for you. Uh, so, Really fun stuff. Um, I don't know if I, did we look at this one yet? This Not is yet. a this is a great Kirk and Kirk. This purple color is really, really sharp. And there's just a subtle bit of blue laminate on the backside. And when I saw this one, I immediately fell in love with this one. I really like this purple color. Um, I could see this looking good on a lot of men. Um, and definitely some women, you know, women, women can, would, could pull off, you know, most of these colors really easily. But I think it's time for men uh, to start embracing the color revolution. I think we're going to see more and more color in eyewear. And I think it's fun because, you know, if you're going to wear glasses, you know, you could, you could wear something that really gives you, really gives you like a pep in your step and makes you feel good. And I think color is a great way to do that. What do you have here? I got a round red pair. Really awesome. Yeah, I love the red. I mean, that is a powerful red. I mean, that is like, you know, what is that? That's like, you know, some version of like a bright red, like not fire engine red, but it's because it's the, because it's the crystal, um, the crystal acrylic, uh, when the light hits it, it just kind of glows red. So yeah, that's very it's definitely cool. glowing. <laughs> it is glowing. All right. Well, um, 
There's a few other shapes we didn't get to today. Um, again, for some of you that, you know, maybe you want to try some color, but you don't want to go all in with the bright red or some of these other colors, maybe you could just do something like this Fossa Foss here that's a little bit smoky here and a little bit green here. And these are good neutrals um, and they'll pretty much go with anything in your wardrobe, unlike some of these where you might want to have to plan your wardrobe more carefully if you do a really bright color. Some of these are going to be good for everything and still give you some color and you can get outside the box. I feel like, I feel like for so many years, so many people stay in a, a really comfortable space uh, where, they, where they only wear tortoise shell because <laughs> tortoise shell is just really easy and it goes with everything. But you know, it can really be fun to add some color. It's like adding, it's like adding spice to a meal. It's like add a little bit of color to your face and make things a lot more fun. So uh, those are some of the brand new colors that we've got here and then a few of the, you know, the colors we've had for a little while. So please let us know, uh, drop us a comment or send us a message if there's uh, something that you saw here that you liked that you might be interested in. We're gonna make all of these available, uh, all of the links available to shop at hicks hicksbrunson.com and uh, you can learn more about all of our brands at hicksbrunson.com. You can learn more about the history of our four generation optical boutique in Tulsa um, and how long we've been here. Our, uh, our great grandfather founded our company back in the 1940s in uh, downtown Tulsa. So um, we've been here a long time and uh, we love opticianry and we love helping people find frame styles that uh, not only help them see, but help them feel better about how they look. And uh, that's what we love to do. So thanks again for watching. You've been watching HBE TV and uh, make sure you find us on the social channels, hit the subscribe button, find us on YouTube and uh, leave us a comment. If there's anything you wanna see more of, see us cover, uh, give us some suggestions and uh, we'd love to uh, accommodate your requests.